Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today, you've asked for it. What are some ways that I can stay healthy as a volleyball player? I know that a lot of this is kind of mysterious and it's not really known unless you really search on the internet, but then you end up getting a lot of diet tips, which we don't want to talk about. We get a lot of workout tips that don't apply to us. So let's talk about some ways you can stay healthy as an athlete. Let's get right into it. So I've been playing volleyball for a long time and I've seen a lot of different methods. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you've seen that I have gone from a more healthier size to a more wholesome size. And throughout that journey, I still love volleyball. Volleyball is still my life. But we also have to remember that there's been a lot of things going on in life. We have to remember that throughout this entire pandemic, there's been a lot of different things. So you have to be grateful for where you are and don't be so hard on yourself. And I've talked about this a lot. Volleyball players can play from any size it's really about how you feel so I'm gonna give you some tips today that can talk about how to stay healthy in ways that you can nourish your body throughout your journey So if you don't already know, I'm gonna tell you, the first thing you should always remember to have in your bag with you when you wake up, throughout the day, when you're driving in the car after practice, when you're going to practice, is water. Water is really essential to your volleyball journey. It fuels your body, but it also makes sure that your body and your organs get the nutrients and nutrition that it needs. So you need to be drinking water. Get in the habit now. Now, when I was in high school and middle school, it was tough to drink water. It doesn't taste like anything. It's boring. It doesn't have enough sugar. Okay, I get it. So an alternative to water are these new sparkling waters. Wish I had them when I was growing up, didn't. So I like the AHA, there's LaCroix, there's Bubbly. So this is really great. I like it. It tastes kind of carbonated. You open it like a soda can. Woo! It's good. Now, it still is water. And a later I'll talk about how to read food labels so we can make sure that we're not getting the bad things in our body. So we have the aha. Uh -huh. The plain of water, you can't beat this. Regular plain of water is nutritious for our body. Make sure you get a water bottle. I have tons of water bottles. You've seen them throughout my channel. You've seen me have a ton of water bottles, but my most favorite water bottle right now is my Hydro Jack with this sleeve. Look at it. It's great, this is not sponsored. But look at this nice hydro jug with this sleeve. I can carry it on the go. I take it with me to work. I take it with me when I'm teaching. I do all of those kind of different things. So this is my hydro jug, I love it. Get you a big water bottle because the bigger the water bottle, the more likely you are to drink this water because it's filled all the way to the top and you don't have to stop to refill it between classes, before practice, all of that. And when you finish one, you finish so many ounces. And I think this one has 73 ounces in it so when you finish this this is great so water is my first tip i know that it's the most obvious tip but water the next tip Gatorade. Now let me tell you why Gatorade. Gatorade is essentially really helpful because it does give you electrolytes in your body. If you can't fuel electrolytes in your body throughout practice, can water give you electrolytes? No, it can't. So when you're losing electrolytes through your sweat, throughout your practice, Gatorade is some way that you can replenish those electrolytes, especially if you're a beach player and you're playing outside, especially if you are playing grass or you're having a really tough practice. I highly suggest you have a Gatorade with you. It can even be the little mini, mini, mini one. It doesn't have to be a big one, but this can help replenish your electrolytes between practice, through practice, to make sure you don't get something like heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and we'll talk about those terms later. You see me at this really odd angle, right? We want to make sure that we're packing things that are nutritious in our lunchbox. So I like packing a snack in my lunchbox. So I make sure to get something that's going to be really good and it's going to be nutritious. And one of the things that I've really fallen in love with are Bobo's peanut butter and jelly bites. So it's a little peanut butter and jelly bite. It looks just like this. 
it's great it's fuel it's whole grains so i put this inside of my lunch box so that way i have a snack with me we're more likely to snack on things that may not be fueling to our body when we don't have a snack in the first place so this is a snack that i really really like i know i'm at this really crazy angle but this is the snack that i really really like it's bobo stuffed oat bites if you can see that i really like this one i put it in my bag and i make sure to put it in my lunch box see my cute lunch box i put it in my lunch box so that way it's always with me on the go Now, when we think about the food that we put in our body, it's important to remember to put in whole foods in our bodies. That means vegetables and fruits and whole grains. When you think about the My Plate Pyramid, if you guys don't know what that is, I'm gonna insert an image here. It used to be the food triangle, remember that? But now we wanna talk about something called the healthy My Plate. And that's something that will guide us to know exactly what kind of foods you wanna get. On my channel, I never wanna talk about diet because diet is something that you do short term and it's something that could be harmful for your body. So we want to talk about healthy lifestyle change throughout my journey of a healthy lifestyle change throughout the pandemic things have changed for all of us and i want you to know that you are worth it your body is strong your body is is courageous and not to be hard on yourself and take it one step at a time it's because of you guys are so young a lot of you guys are in middle school and high school i want you not to worry about what size you are i know it's easier said than done but i want you to worry about and think about how you feel as we learn and we participate in sports you're putting a tremendous amount of pressure on your body that means that your body is going through stress that it may not have gone through before we have to fuel our body with the right things so it can perform the best for us the best way I like to think about it is think about driving a car. If you put bad gas in the car, is it going to run really efficiently? It's not. So we want to put good gas in the car so it can keep running for a long time. Sure, our car needs need tune-ups every once in a while, but if we treat it the way that we want to treat it and we give it the things that it needs to get, then it's more likely to last a long time. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about getting those healthy foods, healthy fruits, vegetables, all of that. Crash diets and diets like this, we don't want to talk about those because those aren't helpful for our body. So throughout the more health-related content that I'm going to have on Mondays, I know I love we're going to talk more about those concepts so that way you can learn more about how to be healthy for your body and I can teach you how to nourish, love, and care for your body because self-care is important. So, did you like this video? I really hope you liked this video, that it was informative for you, that you learned something new, that you're going to apply some of these tips because if you don't, you know... You might have to find out the hard way, but why do that when I am here for you? Also, remember, I have these really great bracelets on sale, and my t-shirts are down below. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.